uh, maybe your current project responsibilities and how your current work is so you can uh, explain me uh, in a short or brief work. yeah sure uh, i'm currently working as a mainframe developer only in i have experience uh, as a five years now and uh, first I, wo I worked in the testing team now recently like you know it's been a four years i moved to the development um, my work is all about maintenance we already having a programs and everything we need to add uh, here and there code uh, we get new changes like new models and everything but very rare uh, most of the time it is a maintenance work and uh, we do the monitoring the jobs also we I, we will monitor the jobs also production jobs okay okay so mostly you get a maintenance type work but uh, as a uh, development from a scrap it will be kind of a very rare scenario that's correct shruti yes oh, okay okay so let's move to the technical part uh, yes, so... yes you can hear me yes 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 i am hearing you so let's move to the technical part uh, how can you rate yourself uh, for cobol jcl db2 uh, vsam css yeah, sure. uh, mm -hmm. shruti i am not able to hear you you can hear me now you yes, can hear yes, me I, yes yes i can hear you hello yes yes shruti we can hear you yes for the cobol i can give you uh, four out yeah mm -hmm. for the cobol i can give you four out of five for jcl also four uh vsam uh, i didn't work with the vsam uh, in my sp in, in my experience mm -hmm. in db2 uh, i have worked so i can give you four for that and okay. i also worked on the kicks uh, we don't get so much change in the kicks also uh, i can give you two like i can understand the programs and everything where we need to change and everything okay okay fair enough so let's start with the cobol mm. first so can you just give me a simple uh, flow of a normal cobol program like um, requirement is something like you have a input file uh, and uh, you need to do the some kind of a validation and write it to the output file so what all the things you are considering in a cobol section uh, so we need to declare the divisions first uh, as uh, only identification division is mandatory but uh, as we have the file also we need to declare the layout for the file in environment section and file after we need to open the file in uh, first we need to open the file in the input mode because since we are reading the file once we read the file then uh, we need to read in some layout after reading into the sum layout from that layout we need to do some validation if you want to do any validation with the account id then whether you want to check if the account id is a spaces or whether it is matching with the previous account id you need to check there and then if everything is fine then you need to write into the file for writing the file for the starting mm -hmm. you need to open the in output mode you need to open the output mode for writing the file after writing everything then you need to close the file this is the okay. simple logic you know, to read and write agree agree so you said there is a so, uh, no no that, that's yeah. completely fine so now uh, as you said uh, there will be a, let's say a example as a account number and we need only numerics mm -hmm. so how you validate hmm. that particular field as a part of a validation yeah we have a function for uh, checking the whether the uh, the variable is a numeric it contains the numeric or uh, not we can use the uh, if ws account number is numeric we can give that so okay, it it okay. does that uh, work okay okay so likewise let's say my input file has a length of uh, 100 so let's say account number has mm -hmm. a length of uh, 10 and there are uh, again mm -hmm. nine other fields which also needs to be done as a validation and for each uh, uh, field okay. we have a sep separate separate paragraph okay as you said for account number we have a separate paragraph mm -hmm. then you go for a second field go mm -hmm. for a third fourth field now my requirement is mm -hmm. something like that let's say account number is not uh, correct then you can simply uh, write that record into the re uh, any reject file or report mode and you don't need to uh, read the other paragraphs for the sec from the field number 2 to the field number 10 okay, okay. 
uh, you so telling that, do that hmm, okay you so telling I will, i'll confirm the question mm -hmm. yes yes go ahead okay uh, if account number is not correct then we know we should not uh, proceed with other fields right that is your question yeah for the validation purpose we can directly yes. uh, if let's say account number is not correct uh, we are directly mm -hmm. writing into the output file but there are different nine uh, other validation paragraphs as well for each of your field so we don't need to uh, read that again right as it is a uh, consuming our os and everything so how can you achieve that okay fine uh, and i wanted to confirm again uh, to understand your question if account number is not uh, it's, it's not valid then we write into some rejection file and then right. once we write into the rejection file uh, and then i wanted to know we are only writing the account number or we are writing all other fields once we reject all should we move this or all the so all we, the we should write whatever okay yes, yes. Let, all the reports the right uh, yeah i i can make you simplify one okay so let's say you have a, yeah. uh, a record of a 100 byte your you have yes. related your account number it's perfectly fine then you go for a, your mm -hmm. second uh, paragraph where, mm -hmm. which is kind of a department okay in a department yes. you mm -hmm. found that it's it's a invalid kind of a department so you okay. need uh -huh. to write all the record uh, entire record to, to the report file and you don't need to proceed for other validation Okay, okay, fine. Then uh, we can, uh, as, as you told that uh, once we check with the department, they, after checking the department is Bangalore or not, we can do that if condition. Then under that, you can set it like, you know, if WS valid department, else mm -hmm. not valid department, you can set that field uh, outside. You told that we have a different paragraph for different. Uh, uh, fields, fields. so outside right. you can keep a one if condition if ws not valid then no need to follow the no need to do the all validation down there we right. can follow so, we, we can do that easy yeah yeah so so simplify this you can uh, in a ws variable you can assign one single mm -hmm. flag like error free and error exists kind of yes, yes. so before uh, reading yes, every yes. paragraph you can check whether it is a error exists or not let's say if a error exists yes. you can simply bypass yes, yes. the and if it is error free yeah. then you can go we for can do the things. conditional uh, yeah. Right, right yeah conditional yeah. we can keep in a gate level y or n by that we can right. you know we yeah, can set that, and we can use that if condition yeah that's what i want to know so let's say yeah, uh, sure, sure. so i want to i i have uh, one file which has uh, let's say mm -hmm. employee numbers which is kind of a unique mm -hmm. one okay and uh, let's say your mm. name is shruti there are for uh, there are multiple uh, employee id who have a shruti name present but i want to process all of them okay so how can you do that means let's say account number is one two three four five have a name as a shruti okay then again there mm. are different account number is present for that also name is present is a shruti but my unique uh, whatever primary key is employee id not the employee name then how what is your uh, acceptance like how you want to write like you know layout can you tell whether you want to write output uh, employee number name and also account number or how yeah yeah well, entire file you can write that's not a problem so i just want to be part of a, 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 how can you handle with as a vsam file sorry you uh, do you have a, a experience in a vsam no i don't have experience but i got you a question i can answer that once we read the file uh, like you know uh, you can give a condition you can take the two variables current uh, em employee number and previous employee number i don't know whether i'm asking you right right thing or not okay. uh, but we can go this way you know or, current employee number previous employee number we can uh, declare the two variables after reading it uh, whatever you read uh, read from the file that you can move after reading down mm -hmm. and the down you can move from current to previous account previous uh, employee number when when it goes to read the second record in the previous uh, employee number it will be having the previous like if uh, if you're telling that one two three four is one record and the second record uh, employee number is a two three four five six first it will come and check one two three four is equal to the spaces then it will check like that once you do the all the validation it will come down that time we will move the current employee number to the previous employee number 
that means 1 2 3 will move to the previous employee number again it will read the file when it reads the file the current employee number will be the second record of the file that, that means 2 3 4 5 6 then it will okay, check okay, if okay. 2 okay, 3 so 4 5 6 see. equal to the yeah, so, so whatever you are telling, it's uh, okay for a uh, let's say uh, if our number of records are very less, but if it mm -hmm. is having millions of records, so there is a concept in a wisdom in a case DS mm -hmm. file you can access in a dynamic mode. Okay, as I said, okay. employee number is your okay. primary key, and employee ID okay, okay, maybe have to duplicate. You right? can so declare you can, the layout. Right, so layout, you, right? You can, Right. As you, so in your case, employee ID is kind of your alternate key, which has a duplicates. So you yes, can access, yes. access the records dynamically. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. I I read okay. the information, but I'm I didn't walk it. I got it that okay. we need to declare by declaring the file layout. Uh, we can give yeah. the primary key as a employee number. No problem. No problem. So. Uh, mm -hmm. I uh, let's say uh, I have a let in your example uh, account number is numeric, but it may be uh, cases that uh, maybe sometimes I get an alphanumeric value in it. Okay, <laughs> so instead <laughs> of using is numeric clause, uh, there is any other way you can hand, uh, check whether it has a numeric values or uh, alphanumeric values. Uh, we have. A uh, function for to check alphanumeric also, right? We can check whether it, uh, it contains alphanumeric uh, or is alphanumeric. Uh, okay, I'm giving you one hint. Uh, I want to check through perform one by one character. So, do you know how to check that? Mm, one by one characters, you were telling. Yes, yes, yes. Let's say it is a 10 ca character string, and I want to check mm -hmm. each each byte. For that particular string, let's say if it is a numeric one, I don't need to do anything. I will check the next character. If it is alphanumeric one, then I need I will be bypass it or maybe I will reject it. So how you handle? I just want the kind of uh, how perform one by one is working here. Do you know that? Perform. So ah uh, yes. So let me tell you how uh, you can do. Do, do that so you what you can do is you can uh, assign one ws variable in a working storage section okay mm -hmm. and you can uh, given that uh, numbers as 0 to 9 0 through 9 okay mm -hmm. so it will handle okay. all the numeric clause again on 88 mm -hmm. level you can assign alphanumeric values as a to z okay mm -hmm. so now what yeah. you can do is perform your ws account number from one by one mm -hmm. until uh, your account number field length is 10 so you can uh, check until occurrence of 11 and you can check uh, mm -hmm. your 288 levels fields ws alphanumeric and ws numeric if it is found as a ws alphanumeric you will reject it if you found it is mm -hmm. alphanumeric you, uh, ws numeric you can proceed okay, okay. so okay. i have i have uh, two files okay mm -hmm. and uh, both have uh, let's say uh, city numbers Okay, and mm -hmm. one has one has something related data like uh, city postal IDs, and another has uh, something record uh, as a uh, name. So I want to uh, match based on the city numbers and write it down to the output file, matching records through COBOL. Do you know how can we do that? Okay, we have a matching uh, in the file and file too, right? Uh, yeah, both, both uh, files have port. city number. Both the files have city numbers. One one has city name and other has department. Let's say. So whenever we found the city numbers are matching, we need to write the record into the output file. Otherwise, we can write it to the unmatched one, unmatched two. Mm. Do you know how uh, can we do that through can I, COBOL? Can you can I okay. confirm that we have a matching in the file one and file two? Yes, yes. Like, both you the know, files have, yes, both the files have city numbers. One file okay, okay, has okay, city fine. number plus department. One has city number plus name. Okay, then uh, we can open the files in. We can open the uh, files both, and then we can read the two files into some layout. By the layout variable, uh, we can check that you know first file uh, department equal to the second department. 
if it is then we need to move whatever the required file fields from the file 1 or the required fields from the file 2 we can do that but uh, don't you think it is kind of a time consuming if it is let's have a millions of records how can you simplify the code mm. okay so let me tell you there is one algorithm uh, where you can what you can do is you need to first sort the both the files and then you need to uh, handle it through the cobol program okay so now my both mm -hmm. the files mm -hmm. are in a sorted order both the files have a city numbers right so what i will do yeah. is i will I will open both the files. I will read my first file, read my second file. In a procedure division, what okay. I can do is, I will check, I, I will treat my city number as my IDs. Okay. If mm -hmm. city numbers are matched, then whatever function I need to perform, I will do that and I will write it into the matching file. If it is not matched, let's say my city number.